Okay, today I'll be showing you how to add ROMs onto your iPhone 3G or iPod Touch, whatever generation. Right now I have a 3GS, as you see here. And I'll be showing you how to put ROMs on any of your emulators that you have right now. So, whichever one you have. So, right now I have the NES emulator, so this is 3.0. I have a cracked version of this, of the NAS emulator, because it costs money and I can't really get it. It's super difficult. So, you could go on the source called Sinful iPhone, which gets you all cracked apps, which really works to and is totally awesome. So, I'll be showing you. So, first things, I'll be using a Mac today to um, show you how to put ROMs onto it, onto the iPhone or iPod, whichever you have in any in generation. So first you have to have this gel broken, the iPod or the iPhone, and you must install s some, s some things onto your iPhone. So I'll show you. You must install Open SSH, SSH, sorry, and the emulator that you're using. You can use GPS, iPhone, or Super NES, Sega Genesis, whichever you have right now. And right now, you have to have also for the Mac. You must have Wi-Fi and this thing, this application called Cyberduck, as you see here you have to install it so you could just go on google you could google, google it or I might put it on on the forums and you and if you want to go on you have to download it easily so there so you must have wi-fi and and, and cyberduck for the mac so and then next go on to your settings settings Wi-Fi sorry it's a, if it's a little blurry and grab your Wi-Fi so this and have to use the IP address so go on once you download CyberDoc go on to it Okay. Go on to the top left corner as you see here, open connections and change the FTP protocol as you see there, file transfer protocol into ST SFTP, SSH file transfer protocol and put into the the IP address you have. So, I'll put it Okay, then your username will be root, R-O-O-T, password, Alpine, E-L-P-I-N-E, -E. then connect, this should pop out after that, unknown host key and your IP address, just allow, just allow, and as you see here, you'll see the library and media, and the dates, so I want you have to first so just cam go to the top instead of pressing private slash var root go to private slash private slash var then go into mobile sorry one second go into mobile And then go to media and go down and go into ROMs as you see you don't need to install make a file of ROMs or whatsoever anymore for this it's really simple and your emulator should show up mine is NES as you see here and 
I'll be showing you how to install some games if you want. So let's go on to the old computer, which is really good for ROMs. As you see here, I like I really like to use this one because it has mostly all the emulators. Oops, sorry. See here, I have NES emulator right there, NES ROMs. So let's scroll down. If you're using the NES emulator, then that'll be easy. Yes, I'm showing you right now. So let's install, let's say, I don't know. Let's install Zelda 2, which I don't have right now. If this pops out, just exit it and you can skip and it should download. It's really quick. And then the emulator should be in a folder on your downloads. As you see here. Okay, and now you have to drag it. It's much easier if you do the, um, the window key and just drop it. If this comes out, just press allow. Really easier just to press the um, separate button that I I forgot what's the button name, but just press this button and it'll be easier. So after that, you want to go to your iPhone and respring it. What I use is Winterboard instead of that respring button because. Uh, I don't know, it's just more easy, it takes, it doesn't take up that much space, it doesn't need to take out another app, put another app, I really don't like adding another app onto this, so, save space, it should pop out, oops, and you should log in, to, your net, to the emulator you have and there you go Zelda 2 so that's about it if you done with it you could disconnect or if you want to keep adding more ROMs then it will be easier so I'll put everything up onto my forums so it will be easy for you guys to do if you want to save it because basically they won't be able to save as you see here I put a you go on to my um, other YouTube video and it'll show you see the same games, you won't have that yet and so I'll show you on to my U other YouTube video so that's really about it so thanks for watching